What is fibromyalgia? Well, many doctors and patients believe it's just a wastebasket diagnosis. You have some muscle pain. If you don't know what it is, call it fibromyalgia. But it's very different than that. Yes, there's American College of Rheumatology criteria where 11 out of 18 tender points. But that's under, uh, under had a lot of criticism because it doesn't encompass what really fibromyalgia is. It has also associated with significant fatigue, cognitive dysfunction, or, or also called fibro fog, uh, uh, sleep disorder, um, uh, muscle pain, along with, again, the fatigue that's significant affecting your life. And what, what doctors say, well, there's no known cause that's not true, is that there's a multi-system cause where we get pituitary dysfunction, mitochondrial dysfunction, where the mitochondria don't make the energy for the body. That's shown to be dysfunctional in this illness. There's chronic infections that are associated with it, um, reactivating infection. Let's say you get the chicken pox. You think, oh, I'm over the chicken pox. So many years ago, it's no problem. But now it comes back out as shingles or immunity drops. That's what happens with fibromyalgia, is the immunity is low, so you get reactivating infections. Uh, you get also uh, coagulation defects and uh, multiple hormone deficiencies that aren't picked up on standard blood tests. Majority of patients with fibromyalgia are shown to be low thyroid, but the standard blood tests will miss it. So you need to find a doctor that looks at all these different areas that are dysfunctional in this illness, not just ideally give a medication to cover up the symptoms.